Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I am back to do your pick a card reading. Um, this is the first time I've ever done a pick a card reading. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I've decided to do this pick a card reading because I think it would be, I thought it would be fun and I think it would be good for people to see how I read um, kind of in a different perspective. So normally people see me doing my monthly horoscopes, but uh, I wanted to read for people and um, there's no there's no way to get around me in this in the sense that like if you decide to watch all three um, I'll probably catch you and that, that's okay if you do um, but I want to really there you know give people some clarity as much as I can from my perspective because I do enjoy p watching pick a card readings myself and um, I find them really fascinating and uh, so it's one of those things uh, I wanted just to see how it kind of is going to play out and how it's going to go and it's fun and so I wanted to do this um, just to kind of see how how it goes um, so this first <sighs> you know first card that i'm going to do um uh, if you are following me on instagram um it's it's this card okay and um just so you guys know the the question that that i'm reading about is to answer is will you get married Okay, will you get married, but also who will I marry or who will you marry? Okay, um, that's the question. Uh, I'm kind of doing both. Essentially, a lot of the who will I marry videos, they don't really go into if you're going to get married. Um, I kind of want to see if you're going to get married and also who that might look like, like what that's going to look like to you and or what's stopping you from getting married. So. Uh, a lot of people want to end up in long-term relationships. They don't necessarily know how to get there. Um, all these are going to be timestamps, so you can skip the intro if you want and go right to your um, right to your answer if you want. But yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. So the first card, uh, Group One, looks like this, um, and the card itself that I picked was the Hierophant. So, to me, the Hierophant is usually a card about marriage or a card about um, talking to someone in the church or being very spiritual. So, you might not necessarily be getting married, but you might be a very marriage-minded person. Um, you might, you know, have very strong religious beliefs. Um, maybe be very faithful as far as, you know, you go to church or you could even be very spiritual also. Um, this could also be wanting to know because you want like answers to me, like the Hierophant represents someone who's older and wiser. So you calling a second and saying, who do you see me getting married to? Or what's that relationship look like for me? Um, most likely the answer for group one is, are you going to get married? The answer is yes. Um, I do want to lay out a spread to see what else I get around this question. So just kind of bear with me. Okay, so the answer to this question is yes. Um, I feel like it is more complicated than are you going to just live happily ever after with someone. I actually feel like you could end up getting married twice. Um, if you've been married before, you're going to get married again. Um, the number two is very strong. I think I dropped my card. I oh, know the two two of wands popped out here for what's coming in from the outside. The two two of wands. Two of wands can indicate a twin flame uh, relationship, which can be a little bit more complicated. For so for those of you who don't know, 
uh, you might want to like check out, you know, you can just Google twin flame stages or twin flame relationships, and that will give you an idea of what to expect from a twin flame relationship. There's a lot of videos on twin flames out there. Um, it's also a timing thing. So some of you, it's going to happen within a two year period of time. I'm getting the number two very strongly. Um, I don't, I don't lock in to times and time frames because essentially everything can shift in like a second. So please remember this as far as, you know, your, your timeline might be different than the universe's timeline, but the number two is very strong. Um, if you're going, if you're getting married, like if you're already planning to get married, but you're watching this, um, some of you already know that you're getting married or you're going to be getting married. Um, to me, it's like you could be in like a two year engagement. Also to me, there's something about an engagement for two years or waiting for two years, um, before you actually get married. There's a wait. There's a, it's not to me, it's not immediate. So like it, the two number is more like a two year time frame. I don't feel like it's in two months. It would be really fast if it happened within two months. And I don't feel like your journey to getting married is going to be happening that fast. Please message me in the comments below what you think about this. But I just think that like essentially your, your timeline is different than what the universe's timeline is. Um, so you have the seven of uh, pentacles. And to me, that's just waiting. So some of you are waiting for a soulmate type relationship. You're waiting for someone who's more serious, someone who's supportive, someone who's loving. You may have had a little bit of a rocky road and there may have been some karmic relationship that's you, that you've had um, uh, previously. Uh, because we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse can indicate karma, but that's been paid, essentially. Something that's been learned. Now, karma is very tricky, and essentially a lot of our relationships can be karmic in nature, cyclical in nature. Um, any person that like you've been maybe stuck on, um, maybe recently or maybe not so recently, um, I feel like there's an element of moving on from that person. So I want to say the person that you think that you're going to get married to is not the person that you're going to end up with. Okay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is the outcome. So the Knight of Pentacles is moving on. Okay. Moving on from something. Um, this can also be traveling someplace. So essentially before you get married, you might actually have to, you might be actually doing like a destination wedding or something, or you end up doing having a destination wedding. Um, I don't see any beach here, beaches here, but that could be something that comes up later. Um, elements of travels here. So some of you, you're not going to get married in the place that either you are living or, and you're not going to get married and or in the place that's, that you're thinking. Um, some of you will, will, I feel like some of you are going to spend some time uh, checking out places to actually have the wedding. To me, it's like a specific place that you're going to go to to have the wedding. Like the wedding shoot itself, like um, I'm getting a tingle on this. So like some of you may be like a wedding planner actually or somebody like that who actually goes to a lot of weddings. Maybe you wanted to know if you're going to get married yourself. Um, it's possible, you know, there's a lot of people that watch my channel. So I feel like the person you end up with is a three of pentacles person. Three of pentacles person is someone who's very supportive of you. Someone who's going to really lift you up and it's going to be a mutually supportive relationship. They're not going to be like, they're not going to be stingy. They're not going to penny pinch. They're not going to be like, why are you doing this? It's, it's going to be very much, I want to say all about you. <laughs> For those of you who are watching, it's going to be more about you than it is about them. Um, and they may be a little bit self-sacrificing like in some way, but they want to make you happy. So there may be a lot of like gift giving, lots of gift giving from them before you get married. So like they may give you a lot of things. Um, it could be from something small to something quite large. They may treat you a lot. Like you may go on like trips together or they may treat you to dinner a lot. To me, there's a lot of gift giving from them. I actually see this is going to sound interesting, but I see them giving you actually like a puppy. 
um, or something like that. To me, like there's an animal that that they give you um, as like a gift. I know some people get really offended by that because uh, you know a lot of people are very much into adoption. I don't feel like it's negative. I feel like he he or she may have adopted this animal and now they're giving it to you. I don't know. There's something about uh, like adopting an animal. You might adopt an animal together or you know to me there's something about an animal there uh coming through and i want to say it's a puppy i want to say it's a dog um it'll be a sign that it's the right person or the person that you're going to get married if they are very generous with you if they give you things um and again it could be small stuff to large stuff um that's how i see it we do have several cards, several male cards showing up. Um, the Knight of Swords showing up, the Knight of Wands showing up, the Knight of Pentacles showing up. Um, the, you know, obviously there's going to be so many people watching this. It could be that 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 guy or girl is your Mr. or Mrs. Right. Some of you are going to have a pretty large wedding, like I want to say. To me, the wedding itself is going to be pretty large um it could be medium size to large um i don't feel like to me it's sort of like polarized i feel like some of you are going to have like a very small like intimate gathering and it's going to be like with a few friends family basically family only and then others are going to have more of like a medium size i'm getting like the number like it's between like 200 to 300 people for some of you, like the size of the wedding. Um, I'm getting that too. It's strange because we three have the three of wands shortly thereafter. We got the lover's card later in time. So to me, this is, this is a wedding. And then something about this three of wands comes after. Now, The three of wands to me is about coming to the end of the road or rope that you're on. Some of you may um, have to make some decisions or changes in either where you're living or what you're doing maybe for work. Um, some of you may be getting married for only a short period of time. Like you might end up getting married to someone for only like six months or something like that um it's to me the marriage might actually be short-lived this is only going to be for some of you i don't feel like it's for everyone i feel like for some of you the marriage is short-lived and i it's it could be only like three months i want to say like 90 day whatever the 90 day i don't know if it's a 90 day period like that's technically you're married and then like some of you it's only going to last like six months it's strange because i feel like for some of you, the other shoe, my guide said the other shoe is going to drop um, after you get married. It's almost like some of you are going to be getting married to someone and th that isn't quite right for you for whatever reason. Um, some of you are going to find out that there was some lying um, happening and it's going to be very like you're going to get a divorce like almost immediately after. It's very strange. I do feel like you're going to get over it, though. Like, if your marriage ends up being short-lived, I feel like you're going to get over it. Um, Whoever's watching this, you know, it's almost better for some of you to not get married at all. And I hate to say that, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. I'm kind of feeling like some of you getting married might be a mistake. Uh, it might be something that you end up regretting. Um, now, the other parts of the spread indicate something that's going to last for 25 years or more. Um, and about, it has children also, because we've got the two of cups in the center of the reading. So again, I know this is going to be for a lot of people. And so unfortunately I can't, you know, for some of you, it's, you know, you're hopeful that it's going to be like forever. 
And I feel like you're going to go into your marriage thinking it's forever, but not everybody, it's not going to be like that. Um, so my, my caution to you is like, get to know the person more that you're, that you're wanting. I feel like some of you are going to get married too fast or too soon in the sense that you don't know the person well enough. Um, and that's the marriage I feel like that's going to not last. The marriage that I feel like is going to last is someone who you are best friends with. You are literally best friends when you get married. And best friends, I mean, like, you're not scared to share the same toothbrush. Like, if you share each other's clothes, I wouldn't be surprised. If you, like, eat from the same, I know it's going to seem fun and kind of gross for some people, but, like, eat from the same food, share food. It's sort of like you're easy together. You're comfortable together. Um, that's the two of cups in reverse. It's, to me, it's a relationship that keeps growing over time, and it's usually 25 years or more. Um, it's a long-term relationship. It's a long-term thing. So I feel like if you are watching this, you're going to get married to someone um, who is that that's a best friend. For those of you who are not who who jump in too soon, that's what I want to say. Who jump in too soon? I feel like your marriage won't last. It's not going to last because you don't know the person well enough. You you aren't at that point of. You're not at that point of sharing. That's what my guide said, which is strange. Um, but that's how I see it. You do have this strength card in reverse. Some of you will be getting married to your best friend. And this is a very strong relationship. This is like a, one of the strongest. There To me, it's an unbreakable bond. It's a bond where someone doesn't want to let you go. They're not going anywhere. They are there for like the long haul and there is no changing their mind <laughs> you know like they've ultimately committed to you um so that's how you'll know like you'll know if you're gonna get married if you become best friends with someone this is that that's group one okay group one the answer is yes will you get married to me the answer is yes um the circumstances are gonna be different for everybody. And then as far as who you're gonna get married to, the type of person that they are is a very, either way, actually. I feel like either way, for those of you who get married and your marriage is only short-lived, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of gifts back and forth. Um, and for those of you who are going to do, the thing, the difference though, the difference is the friendship going into the into the wedding if if you go into your wedding and you are not your they're not your best friend then i would actually change i would actually recommend changing your focus changing your uh route because something needs to change in order for it to 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 go long term if you want it to go long term that's the other question that's the other thing um, some people don't aren't really intending their intending the relationship. They're not thinking long term. There are some people that don't think in long term, you know, ways. So um, I'm gonna pause here and I'll come back for group two. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you are continuing on, uh, thank you guys again for being very loyal, supportive uh, fans and followers. So. Okay, so this is the beginning of the group two. For those of you who picked this card uh, from the beginning, um, they wanted to hear what this card was. This card was the card about delays. So I actually feel like there's going to be a significant delay um, before you get married. Like the this whole thing is about, are you gonna get married? Um, who's it gonna be with? And and the, the, the thing is, is there's some delay about you getting married. So it's sort of like a card of the answers that it's sort of like a maybe. Um, it's not a yes or no, because it's sort of like a delay. There's a delay involved it happening at all. Um, to me, let me see if there's other cards that point to it actually happening. So I'm going to lay out a spread and see what we get for you guys. To me, group two, you're a very career-focused group, more so than group one. Now, if you're just continuing on and you're watching this, um, you may want to get married um, or you may have a person in mind um, and 
you know, be focused on career as well, but... Okay, so to, to me, the answer to group two is I don't see you, I don't see a, a wedding, any wedding cards here. Um, I feel like there's something about wanting to be with someone who may have passed away. This is going to sound strange. Some of you are in love with someone who's passed away. And because you're in love with that person, like they may have been in your life for a long time. You may have been married to that person. You know, people get married more than once. This, this might not have been your first marriage either. This could have been a second marriage or third marriage. It, to me, it, there's like, you know, there's a card about, there's a card about um, someone who's passed away. Um, you have the, one of the, this is like, the, this is the death card. Um, in my Marseille deck, um, the thing is, is to me, that's blocking you. Um, and the card about beginning a new relationship, um, which would also be a card about romance and or marriage potentially in this reading, um, the, the, it was in reverse and in reverse, it's looking back at the past with fond memories um, having like a past life connection to someone or someone that's, you know, it's hard for you to, and to me, this is like you being love, in love with your ex. So I guess my counsel to you is if you do want to get married, then something's going to need to change in order for that to happen. Um, because I don't see it happening, at least not in this reading. And, um, sorry, I dropped a card here. Um, Some of you do have psychic ability. Some of you have psychic ability and or you're very intuitive. Um, some of you may have, again, you know, this came up with group one, so you could be watching through. Um, and you may be, you know, talking to a psychic. So, somebody who, you know, calling a psychic saying, hey, what do you see for my love life? What do you see for me getting married? You may question this reading, and that's totally fine. <laughs> that's totally, it's understandable. They, this reading is for entertainment purposes. Um, so there are people that don't, there are people that don't want to make changes in their lives and they just want the good stuff to happen without making any changes. <sighs> and the hard part about this is that uh, so, so th this is a hard, this is a hard group, I would say, because this is the group that needs to make personal changes and in order for them to grow, in order for them to be open to love, I don't see any love cards here. Um... If you did get married, it would be much later in time than you're expecting. Um, much, 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 much later. Um, we're looking at, I want to say like a very long time. I'm getting some crazy big numbers, like between 20 and 30 years. Long time. We're not talking, like, I mean, for some of you, I also got the number 8 and 12. Um, 8 and 12. So still, that's a long time if you were wanting to get married right away. Uh, something's going to need to change. Some of you need to... Need to um, Make some serious, like, financial changes. Like, create stability in your lives. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so essentially, your energy, you have what my guide, or what I, and the kind of energy that I used to have, and sometimes I have it, you know, <laughs> uh, it comes up. Uh, it's called, I, I call it moving energy. Um, and one of my friends actually, I think, coined the term moving energy, but it's like shifting or moving energy. That means your energy... 
isn't stable. And it's sort of like your energy becomes too kinetic to, att to attract stability. So you have to be stable in order to attract stability. Um, some people, like if you're, sh you're moving around a lot, either sh changing residences or changing jobs or even physically just moving around a lot, there's too much there's too much movement actually in your energy to attract that that stability that you wanting or craving um there's something about a broken home here there's something about a broken home or losses for some of you who are watching in group two there's some serious losses maybe that you went through um before you know with somebody else previously um, something about, so this could even be like a single parent that's watching, you know, being a single mom or single dad. Um, it, to me, having a lot of, having or having a, experienced a lot of losses in life. Um, to me, a broken home. Because uh, we got, this is what, the Eight of Swords? Ten of Swords? Yeah, in my Marseille deck. So, to me, this is like a serious, I actually... I feel like group two, there's a lot of things that you need to, to move on from. Moving on from any kind of situation with drama, with a broken home, with a previous loved one that may have passed away. Um, serious serious issues serious drama like really hardcore drama that we're talking about here too much drama um more drama than i like to tune into um some of you like want to know if you're going to get married to that same person that's causing you drama and the answer is no um i'm leaning you know, originally this card that I pulled for this group, to me, this group was probably more like a maybe, but after looking at the cards, I wouldn't advise getting into any kind of marriage situation. <sighs> not until things have stabilized with you financially or not until at least you can, can find the inner chill, find your zone, find your niche, Find your place in life. Find what really sets your soul on fire and do it. Find, to me, this is about a card, you know, to me, these are cards are all talking about finding yourself. You need to find yourself first. And some of you, you're not in a place of actually loving yourself yet. Um, there's some interesting books that I'm going to post about the inner child um, that I've been reading, that I've seen. Um, inner child work is something that's very important for those of you who are watching to look up, to do. Um, not feeling safe, not feeling comfortable, not feeling like you may have had a very difficult childhood. Um, or something about a very, like, your parents might have been very strict, or your parents might have been not there. One or both might not have been there. Um, so, you know, something about just the way you were raised has taught you not really to know what love is, or really not to know um, what's going to be best for you in a relationship. And in some way, you not knowing, or you not drawing the line creates more drama it creates more heartache it's not creating the life not creating the, the marriage situation or the, the life partner that you might want and in fact I don't even feel like this group really um, has thought a lot or put a lot of thought into having getting married or into having a life partner now you message me in the comments below if you have wanted a life partner if you've spent a lot of time thinking about um you know what what that life partner would look like what marriage would look like for you i feel like you have the happily ever after kind of syndrome which is sort of like it's a dream for you it's not a reality it's not something that you're able to manifest because your energy doesn't match it so your energy right now needs work it needs to stabilize it needs to become more loving 
and and become more like the person that you want to to be like some of you like want kind of like a fairy tale wedding also or you want something that's gonna bring you know some kind of dream to, to fruition but it's a dream it's not it doesn't feel real to me it feels like if you do get married there's a significant amount of time that's gonna pass before you get married um, And I don't want you to like be discouraged in the sense that like some of you may come away from this going, well, that sucks, you know, like that's like, it's never going to happen. But the thing is, is again, if you have inner child issues, if you're not loving yourself, if you're not, if you're not loving, then, then how are you supposed to be in a loving relationship? Also, if you're not a happy person, like I feel like some of you, are very like conflict prone. You're prickly. Your energy energy is very prickly. If you're conflict prone, you're not going to attract a lasting loving partner because you're you're not really trying to achieve harmony. There there was a card in my um, I think it was my trees oracle deck that talked about trying to achieve harmony, making it a point to be harmonious, to be loving, to listen, to, um, oh, take time. Okay, so my guide is showing me this. It's very interesting. I normally don't listen to like, uh, like any kind of church radio, but I was listening to this guy. He reminds me of someone that my grandmother used to listen to. He, he might have been, I don't know who she listened to, but it was always, she's always listening to someone on the radio and like a sort of like a preacher sermonizing and um the thing is is that that one day i was driving and he was talking about the guy on the radio was talking about how people don't actively listen and they don't look at their partner and they don't take time for their partner um I think that if you were to practice that with someone, being present with someone, being honest, being open, you may be watching for someone also um, who isn't really present with you. Someone who's not really trying that hard. You may have had a difficult time with people not loving you or not trying that hard or not putting in any energy at all. But I think the key for you, if you are present in a relation in a relationship and you're listening and you're communicating well, that's going to create something that's going to create a harmonious atmosphere, that's going to create a healthy dialogue, a healthy relationship, something to build on. Um, And there's also something about not saying yes, just any random marriage proposal. Like some of you may have people that propose as kind of like a grand gesture and it's just a grand gesture. It's not, it's not heartfelt. It's not real. You know, it's like they want to get married because marriage is great, you know, or, you know, I say great with in quotes, you know. So I, I don't know. These are things that are coming through for you. I don't want you to get discouraged though, because honestly, we, we can change and shift our energy and we can grow. It may take us time um, to work on these things, but eventually we attract in um, that match. If we're heartbroken too, here's another thing. If you're heartbroken, you're gonna attract in somebody who's broken. And it would be a relationship about codependency or it'll be a relationship that's very like, mm, it's healing, but healing through conflict, healing through that brokenness. Um, that's, that's like my last point. So anyways, group two, I'm moving on to group three. So thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, Google plusing. I will be moving on to, th to group three. So I'm going to pause my video and come right back. Okay. Group three. So the card that was on my channel, uh, 
and uh, that I posted on Instagram that this is the group that it represents. Um, it's this card. Um, the card itself is it says confusion. Okay. Um, I actually wanted to read from my Galactic Heritage uh, deck. So group three um, and hello from group two or group one, if you're continuing on. Um, you know, we all have pieces. I just wanna say this really quickly. We all have pieces of each other inside of us. So there's something to learn from each group. There's something, that's what I've noticed about pick a card readings, which are so interesting. There's something that you can take away from it. And that's my goal is that even if you've watched all of these and you're like, you wanna still know if you're gonna get married, you really want that to happen or you wanna know, um, if you're going to find Mr. or Mrs. Right, there's something that, you, that I'm telling you that you can take away from this, and hopefully it'll help you in some way. So it's an interesting card. It says we often feel, okay, so this is the deck, okay? This is what I'm reading from. Excuse me. It says we often feel safe and secure when things stay the same. When things change, we feel a profound sense of disorientation or confusion until we can realign ourselves in the new reality and build a map for navigating it. To help this process, try to see that often the same messages or life lessons are being given to you in different packages. Find the continuity in these different messages and you will, and you will ease the confusion. Confusion is only the fear that you don't have a map for the reality in which you find yourself. It's a very, very interesting statement. I'm going to stop right there to talk about that. It says, confusion is only the fear that you don't have a map for the reality in which you find yourself. So it's, it's that feeling of not knowing what to do next. It's a fear that you don't know what to do, that there is no option, that you can't move forward, that you just, you don't know what steps to take, you don't maybe feel like people are there for you. It's a fear. Confusion is the fear that you don't have what you need, essentially, is what it's saying, I think. Um, it says, um, the Andromedans are masters of change and rising above confusion. Let their energy guide you. It says, also, the idea of constant change is actually embraced and understood by Andromedans because they see the fear of change as being connected to the state of attachment. Attachment to things, ideas, or ways of being can deeply hinder awakening and growth, which I find very interesting also. Thus, the Andromeda reality reflects these principles. When we walk down the street, we see a consistent reality that seemingly doesn't change. But in Andromeda reality, which is more aligned with the true state of pure consciousness, reality changes constantly as a reflection of the observer. For those of you who watched um, the old sci-fi Battlestar Galactica movies and or the TV show, there was a part in the show that I found really interesting. They were on one of these ships and the their, their pathway changed. So depending on what they wanted to see. So if they wanted to be walking in the woods, they were walking in the woods. If they wanted to be on the beach, they were on the beach. It was very interesting. And I think that that's, it's similar. And I don't know, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, mess with me in the comments. It's hard to explain, but. Um, it, okay, it says, this is true for humans also. But we, ha all, well, we haven't yet understood this fact. If people cannot or will not embrace change and create a safe harbor or anchor in their own consciousness rather than the, in, in the external world, they will experience a profound confusion and fear when reality inevitably changes and they feel lost. Then they become distracted by the phenomenon, positive or negative, of the manifested 3D world. It is like a compass that has stopped working. They lose touch with their inner sense of direction and focus. This card is speaking about that state. If it comes up, it is usually a warning not to succumb to this trap of physical reality and to examine your life to see where you have accepted illusions as truth. So it's a very interesting thing um, to talk about that. And I am going to pull some cards here to talk about that. 
to answer the question um, of will you get married? I'm going to pull some cards. I feel like my the, the first thing that I want to say is yes. For group three, the answer is yes. But I don't necessarily feel like it's for the right reasons. I don't necessarily feel like it's for... Um, it's for a sense, it's, it's to give you a sense of security. People a lot of times get married for security. It makes people feel safe. And it's funny, I was talking to somebody recently and I was like, with relationships, I was like, I just want to feel safe for like 30 seconds. I was like, I don't need <laughs> something to last forever. I just want to feel safe for like 30 seconds and I'll be fine. I'll be good, you know? But essentially there are people, and I've, and, and I've met people like this and I'm sure you've met people like this, where people really don't feel safe in their either environment or in their life and they want to feel more secure and i i think the this card is talking about the root of that problem um and how is it possible to kind of get anchored in our consciousness i kind of been thinking about this for a while now it's very interesting that this is coming up now um it's kind of a very abstract idea i think it's to me, it all goes back to just being in the moment and feeling safe in the moment and doing little things that make you feel comfortable or feel safe, creating a safe space for yourself in your mind, knowing and, and releasing the fear, detaching from the fear that you aren't safe or that you don't have what you need or that you need a relationship. And it, this card is really talking about needing to have, like, very much, like, feeling a feeling of security, material, 3D, you know, 3D things in order to feel, to feel good. And I think for those of you who are getting married for this reason are going to find that marriages dissolve or end, because we've got the tower coming in from the outside here, or end. Um, quite often, and then the person is left feeling completely lost, or a relationship ends and they feel completely lost, or something changes. To me, it's there's there's a there's a resistance to change here. That so yes, who get married, but to me, it's not necessarily because you really want to be with a person. I feel like you really want to feel safe, or you really want to have something locked down more than. And this is on like a, maybe like on an unconscious level. Like I feel like some of you, like I feel like you're arguing, like your energy's arguing. You're like, but I want to get married. I want to be with this person. I feel like it's very important to examine the reasons why you want to get married. Message me in the comments why you want to get married. Is it to feel secure? Is it to feel stable? Is it to have, give yourself a sense of purpose or build up some kind of, to me it's like build up some kind of bunker, <laughs> you know, build up some kind of safety net for yourself. Um, my guide is showing me people, like a person that I've met who got married and then like five years after they got married, that person um, no longer was in their life and they were just, everything changed. They had to sell their house. They had to get, go back to work. Everything changed. And so if you're getting married to escape change, it's not going to work. In order for it to work, you need to, to really kind of let detach with love from your fears. Let go of the fear that you don't have uh, secure security, or that you don't have safety, or that you don't have whatever you, you know. And you might want to do some like journaling or scripting about um, thankfulness and gratitude about what you have, and really examining what you do have. Um. Oh, for this group, 
if, for this group, if you're still married and you want to know if you're going to get married again, um, if you get a divorce first, you'll get married again. <laughs> if you break up with your partner, you'll get married again. This is an interesting group. There is an element of cheating here for group three. So it's interesting that I'm saying, I'm calling you guys on it here. There's an element of cheating, whether you're actively cheating or you're, you know, you cheated in the past or uh, whatever the situation is, there's an element of cheating here, which I would advise to really pay heed to because um, that blocks the, the, the marriage from happening. It's interesting because I do not see one card about marriage in, in any of the spreads that I've laid out here. So it's hard for me to talk about you getting married in this reading without seeing any marriage cards. I see mar cards about divorce. I see cards about breakups. I see cards about cheating. I don't see cards about any kind of relationship that's positive that would come in for you that would... Um, enable me to talk about people even like to talk about the person that you're going to end up with most of the cards that are showing up they aren't they aren't really talking about or the placement they're not talking about people with the exception of the six of wands, which to me is a good person. Typically, the six of wands person, a lot of times I see this as a Virgo, but I can see it also as like a Capricorn or like a Taurus potentially. Um, it's a wands card, so you could even be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. I know that's very vague. Um, there's a lot of major arcana here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Judgment card. We have the Temperance card. So... So it's interesting that I said yes. By... I don't, I don't see that the cards, which is interesting. Let me see if there's anything else. I think in this one, it has to do with, um, I mean, yes, you're gonna, I feel like yes, you're gonna get married, but only if you break up with your partner or only if you stop the cheating, or only if the cycle changes, or only if, there's a lot of ifs. You know, um, I, I am of the glass half full in the sense that I do believe people can change. And if you do change, and this goes back to your fear of change, if you do change, then the answer is yes. And I'm getting a tingle on that. If you don't change, if nothing changes, including your fear of change, if you don't let go of that fear, then it won't happen. Um, there's strong, I don't even feel like group three, there's either, there's strong masculine energy, but not in a healthy, healthy masculine energy. It's, it's very stubborn masculine energy. It's very like strong, willful, <laughs> very ego centered energy. I see a lot of drama uh, with this group. Uh, the outcome with the other spread that I laid out is drama. Um, I do see a card about pregnancy. It's almost like there's drama and then there's pregnancy and then there's marriage. It's almost like the answer to this group is if you do the work and if you change, 
a lot of good things can happen. And I, and I do feel that it can shift and it can change and you can have a balanced relationship. And the thing is, in some way, you're scared of it. It's what it is. I just got a tingle on that. You're scared of having something good. You're so used to the drama. You're so used to, to, to shit happening. Or you're so used to, you know, like the same old, same old. That you're afraid of actually having something good. You're afraid of what that actually even looks like. And the thing that I see, which is so interesting, um, is a very colorful, beautiful uh, energy that is something that I, that in some way it may feel like this group, this group may feel like I'm kind of dangling a carrot. Like marriage is like a carrot. You know what I mean? Like it's sort of like something that you'll never really eventually ever achieve. And I don't think it's a carrot. I think it's a very beautiful energy that you can tap into right now. It's just you're not. You're so afraid of it. And part of it is because it's really beautiful. Part of it is like, it's like seeing someone or meeting someone that they're so beautiful. You're like, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> like you, you, you go like, oh my gosh, don't look at me. <laughs> you know, because they're so beautiful. You know, or they're really good looking. You're like, wow, you know, like you're really good looking. And it's hard to even be in their presence, you know. And, and I think there's something, there's something here about that where either the person that you're going to marry is very good looking or you feel like a little bit shy or you're a little bit scared of it or you're scared of them. Um, but it's very colorful. To me, you're going to have a very colorful life. Either your surroundings are going to be very colorful. You're either going to live in a very tropical place where there's a lot of, um, a lot of beauty around you. Or just you'll have either, yeah, like a colorful lifestyle or um, colorful friends. Or there's just something very beautiful. It's going to be a very sexual relationship too. Like I want to say like it's very, there's a lot of sex focus. And, not that, and I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's just a very like something that you like need to do or you want to do. And you'll have a very strong sexual relationship. It'll be a very sexual relationship that you do have. You're scared of your own true colors. You're scared to show the world who you really are. And I would heed the caution of getting married just to get married or getting married for any other reason except that if you get married it's sort of like it's part of the divine divine I would say divine light or divine unity that you will have with someone is if you are fully authentic for who you are and they love you for who you are in all your true colors all of those colors whatever those colors may be um, the good and the bad you know, and sometimes the ugly, you know. I do feel like if you do get married, and I say if, if you do get married, it will be a very balanced, I said this before, a very balanced, harmonious thing. Um, where you have family. There's family and there's children. One, uh, potentially more than one child. I feel like whoever you who whoever you end up with is going to be very healing to you. They're going to heal you in some way. You're going to feel like healed when you're with them. Like like just kind of like all the pieces kind of come together. And it's going to be the same way for them too. That's what I want to say. All right, guys, I think that that's all where I want to leave off on. Um, I've talked a lot about a lot of things in this video. Uh, so group three, thank you so much. Um, and I am going to say thank you to everyone else for watching. If you watched through this entire video um, and hopefully uh, I've said something that's resonated to, to you guys and I will be back again. Let me know if you like this pick a card reading and I will do more of them. And uh, I send everyone big hugs. Because this.
and I will talk to you guys again soon. Definitely give me a thumbs up. Definitely follow me on Instagram and, uh, and Twitter. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much. Take care. All the best.